can also edit a design by combining elements from another design or by adding another design in total to the original. So let's first add a design to this original design. I'll click on Insert Embroidery and navigate to the folder that has the design I wish to add. I'll select the design and click on Open. The design is centered in the open design and it is grouped so it makes it very easy to move the design. I can then rotate the design, I can resize the design, and I can move the design as desired. Now I may want to make another copy and there are several ways to make a copy of a design. One is to right click and select copy and then right click and select paste. The copy is placed right on top of that original design and I can just click and drag to move the design and again I can rotate the design, I can resize the design, and I can move the design as desired. If I want to make a copy that's not placed directly on top of the original, I can right click on the design and select duplicate with offset and the design is moved away so it makes it very easy to tell if you have a duplicate design. Again, I can edit that part of the design in any way. Still another way to make a copy is to make a quick clone and this is a right click and a drag and that will make a copy of the design and you can again edit that in any way that you want to edit. Now you might also want to take just a part of the design to combine it with another design. In this case, you can open a new design and our old design is still there, but we're using this new blank design to insert an embroidery design. And it makes it easy then to hold down the Alt key and select just part of that design. Still another way to make a copy is to use the copy icon in the general toolbar. I can click on copy, go to my original design, and paste the copy by clicking on the paste icon. Again, I can move that design anywhere I want to. If I decide I don't want that design, I can delete that design. You can also select a design and click on cut. Now the advantage of using the cut icon is that it's still on the clipboard. So I could go back to this other design and paste it into this design. Now one thing that we would want to do after making all these copies, you can see over in color film that I've got quite a few color changes. So when you make copies of a design, you'll always want to remember to go to design and select optimize color changes. And this will make a more efficient stitch out because it will combine the colors that you have added to the design. So there are several ways to make your own unique design by combining designs and making copies and pasting them into your design.